walking. So you've been to my Strubicans in Shrewsbury. I have, yeah. And you've yeah, seen yeah. how the oil is made. Yeah. So now we're going to look at how oil works. So we're here in Guy Shed. Yeah. Okay. And today we're going to be looking at uh, universal tractor transmission oil. Back end oil, boy. Back end yeah. oil, absolutely. Back yeah. end let's, oil. let's keep it, let's cool, keep it simple. Here, right. So um, the back end of a tractor is a complicated piece of equipment. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot going on in there. So obviously it's taking the power from the engine to do various different jobs of work. So on the way from the engine course, there's, there's going to be the, trans, the, the actual gearbox, the transmission itself. And there's a variety of different uh, designs of that. So obviously you've got power shift, you may have on the, on the old, older tractors, you may have manual gearboxes. Yeah, um, yeah, manual in this one. The CVTs, continuously variable transmissions, and mm -hmm. now infinite, infinitely variable transmissions, the IVTs, they're, right. they're coming through now. Uh, it's all about maximising the efficiency and, and the energy distribution of, of, of the power from the engine. Um, to, to the back end where it's going to do all the work. So you've got the transmission, then breaking into the differential, of course. So you've got the diff on the back. Yeah. Okay. So obviously that's to distribute the, um, the power between the two, the two, the two, the two wheels. Um, in the end of, well, before you get to the, to the reduction hubs, you've got the uh, oil immersed brake system. Okay, wet brakes. Uh, it's all about frictional control. Okay, a, a, lot, a lot of the internals of, of a tractor transmission is about frictional control. Yeah, so we don't, we don't want friction in the diff yeah. and the gears and all of the bearings, but we do want friction we do want in the brakes. In the brakes, yeah. absolutely. Right. So, uh, so obviously it's a series of clutch packs, so you've got clutch material, um, friction material, and it's about controlling that. It's controlling about the engagement of that so that we don't get something called squawk and chatter, mm -hmm. which, is, which is a horrible grunching noise. Okay, um, because that isn't proper brake engagement. That that is inefficient brake engagement. That causes a lot of wear, vibration, and wear. Yeah. So we yeah, don't want yeah, that. Yeah. So so it's very important that when at Morris Lubricants when we're formulating these transmission oils, we're getting the chemistry balanced in order to make sure that's a smooth engagement of friction materials. So that's important. That's an important part of the part of the job of a universal tractor transmission. Yeah. 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 Um, then we'll have reduction hubs on the end. Uh, which could be just basic planetary gear sets, but they, uh, they need lubricating as well. So that's another part of the job it does. Um, then, of course, we'll have the PTO system. Okay, so... There's a lot going on in there. There's a lot, yeah. And again, you know, there could be clutch packs at the back of that PTO that you've got to engage and disengage. And, of course, you want positive engagement. If you're taking power to another piece of equipment at the back of the tractor, you want positive engagement for that. Mm. You don't want that slipping and sliding. No, so, right, okay, okay. So again, that's another job of the tractor transmission oil to ensure that you've got positive engagement. So it has to be very carefully formulated and well balanced to address all these different needs. Because it's not only, as I say, the frictional needs, but you've also got standard differential sort of setups in there, and I say reduction hubs. And that's a conventional gear oil requirement. So it's got to do the job of a conventional gear oil as well. So there's a, there's a lot of complexity on, on how a transmission oil works in the back end of a tractor. Um, sometimes the tractor transmission oil can be used in the front axle as well, because there may be oil immersed brakes in the front axles. Yeah, it's, it's the same sort of setup, isn't it, front axle? Very similar kind of setup, yeah. Some of the older tractors may have just had a standard gear oil in the front, or even a limited slip differential gear oil in the front. Right. Um, but the, the, the newer tractors now will be using... Um, these kind of universal tractor transmission oils throughout where possible. So, um, so it's a very complicated sort of setup. And as I say, the, to, to balance all that chemistry, to give the correct performance, get maximum life out of this and protection. Because again, you know, you want reliability. The last thing you want are, you know, um, unexpected breakdowns and things popping and banging where you don't want them to, especially during a busy period. Because mm -hmm. as you know, you know, you're in a rural part of the country. Yeah. When this is working, it's got to be working hard to do its July, job. Come July, that's your cracker. That's your cracker that's till one, October, yeah. really. Yeah, harvest tractors are out there running the keep. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you know, so to get 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 an oil which has got the correct balance, you know, in terms of this chemistry, meeting all the the major equipment manufacturers' requirements, which uh, the Morris Lubricants product does. So you can go into a variety of different makes and model of tractor. Oh, not just not just John Deere, as I, as I am a John Deere fan. Absolutely. No. Right. So a whole range of different makes and models. Um, but again, it's making sure that when this is working hard, the oil is working hard for it as well. Mm -hmm. And it's a critical fit to make sure it's all going to perform as it does during that really busy period when it's being worked. Yeah, yeah, sound. And, and of course, what's different as well these days, some of these tractors have reasonably high road speed as well. Yeah, they so do, on you know, 50, 60k an hour. Yeah, so, so bear in mind, tramping. you know, 
that, that transmission oil has got to sort of operate as if it's almost like in a truck, almost, you know, or, or, or a small commercial vehicle, because you've got those high road speeds that you've got to accommodate, which are higher yeah, temperatures yeah, yeah. are accommodated with There's that. a lot of weight, like my big tractor, when it's got its baler on, mm. and we've got a couple of bales in the chamber, it's like 35 tonne all in that. That's a lot, 35 yeah. tonne, you're trucking on down the road at 55 yeah, k an hour. absolutely. That's a lot of energy to disperse when you come to stop it's it. It's a lot, yeah, actually, and so, so that's working, you know, really hard at those kind of, in those conditions of pulling load at speed. Mm. So again, you know, a, a poorly formulated tractor transmission will won't give you that kind of protection. So it's got to tick all the boxes in terms of performance. Sound job. Yeah. Sound job. There you go. So that's what a tractor transmission all has got to do to earn its keep, basically. Mint, mint. Yeah, yeah. it's got its work on. Yeah. Okay. Sound job. Thank you. So if you want to see any more content like this or any other videos with Guy, visit Morris Lubricants website or our YouTube channel.